everyone. Good morning. It's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. I hope that you're doing great today, having a wonderful morning or afternoon so far. Um, I got up bright and early this morning. I'm uh, This is my second cup of tea. I'm having my Twinings <laughs> lemon ginger, and I decided to put it in my rainbow mug, which is my feel-good mug. Do you have a mug that you always go to when you want to just feel bright and sunny and cheerful? <laughs> I always do, but this is my rainbow mug. And um, the lemon ginger tea for me is like a great way to start the morning. I often drink just lemon, lemon juice with a bit of uh, honey and um, hot water. It's really good to uh, jumpstart your um, your metabolism. So hope that you've got something that you love to get you going with the day. And uh, you're going to put some makeup on and go out there and get uh, engaged with the, with the world. So in fact, I want to talk to you about makeup today new topic on makeup. Uh, I was reading an article by uh, the, in the Daily Mail in the UK, which is uh, one of these um, magaz these newspapers that uh, covers all kinds of celebrity articles and things. And it was a story about Joan Collins. Joan Collins is 84 years old. And she, uh, well, I mean, of course, she looks fantastic because she, she makes a point of looking fantastic, putting aside the fact that she's obviously had uh, a life of, of luxury. She can take care of her, her skin and do all these wonderful things. We can do it too. Anyway, she gives her beauty tips uh, in this article. And I, as I was reading the article, I thought, these sound just like the things that we've talked about with our makeup expert, Ariane Paul. So I thought, well, we'll just write an article c comparing really what Joan Collins says, her or her makeup tips. And then we'll just chat a bit about what Ariane says and, um, she, and see where they overlap or whether there's any interesting tidbits here that we uh, can learn. Because because when you actually read this stuff, it's not like um, because she's got a lot of money or she's wealthy, you know, she's got an opportunity. They are very simple little tips that can make you uh, have a, a more um, effective skincare regime and makeup tips that work. And so the first thing that Joan Collins says is to wear bright and bold lips. Now, she's got in the picture, of course, on the article, a bright red glowy lipstick, and she looks fantastic. Um, and I could never wear bright red glowy because, as she says, you've got to know what the undertone of your skin is. Like what, what tone is, is it, is it an amber kind of um, ruddy color or is it blue? Um, my lips are blue. So when I take all my lipstick off and put lipstick on, they, they, they have a blue tinge to them. So to make my lips look darker, I have to actually work uh, at building the color. So today I'm wearing a little bit darker than I would normally, but, they, but you know, dark lipstick works. And as long as it matches your skin tone, which is getting a little lighter as you get older, and also your hair color, then Joan's advice is go bold. She also says go for wide eyes. And uh, dark circles really can, uh, you know, bring your the, the, your appearance down. And those have nothing to do with money. Those have to do with good sleep and, you know, some genetics and also how you um, how you treat your your skin. She suggests that you put pu you treat puffy eyes by putting uh, soaking cotton pads in a, a bowl of ice, and then just placing them on your eye, and it kind of tightens the skin under your eye, makes it look a little bit wider. And another thing she does, which is um, something that I actually do too, um, not quite the same, but she says, put a little bit of silver highlight on your eye, right in the middle of the eye, uh, and it pops, it pops your eye open. Now, I use um, like, a, like a highlighter, which is a gold color, but she uses silver. I don't think I have it on today, but just at the, the tip of your eye, just dab a little bit of silver sparkly, yes, eyeshadow, eyeliner. So that's another one. Another thing she says, Joan Collins, is to brush on luscious lashes. And of course, put big volumizing mascara as a priority. Some people, it's the only thing they even bother with is mascara and lipstick because it really can make um, a big difference, draws attention to your eyes and really, really, um, you know, can, can make you look and feel better. Not so much younger. We're going past that one now. But anyway, next thing is to always choose a multitasking makeup. What that means is choose a, a foundation that's got SPF filters. Don't, you know, always just double up. So when you're buying a foundation, look for ones that have coverage. And if you have uh, skincare products that have uh, collagen um, uh, production and, and a produced collagen. So use, um, you know, be multitasking with the products that you buy. 
I also also am multitasking with the products like um, eyeliners in two colors, like one that's purple at one end and teal blue at the other end. I have that one from Kiko's. But you'd be multitasking when you buy your products. Always apply makeup with a lift. Always lift up when you're putting your makeup on. It doesn't really do anything, to, but it makes you feel better. And it, it also does put the, take the pressure off of your eyes. So, so put your makeup on going upwards, always. And um, she says, you know, that's those are her tips. Those are the basic ones she uses. And, of course, she buys good quality products. And um, Ariane Poole also has great quality products and has very interesting, similar advice. She did, by the way, not contribute to this article at all. I, I told her about it. She's very happy that I, I published it. But, um, you know, I, I, if I misspoke anything here, it's, gonna, it's down to me. So, <laughs> But Ariane, as a makeup artist, worked on celebrities, people like, um, uh, well, jo not Joan Collins, but, um, oh, I've forgotten the names now, but so many people that she's worked on. And she, she knows how to make people look good. Um, so, so I trust her implicitly and we also interview her quite a bit. So if you have any questions for Ariane, just, um, leave them in the, in the section below. It's really important, but she's, she's a great makeup artist and, um, she says, here are the things that she would do. Okay. Let's start with lips. She says, again, skin color changes as we get into our sixties and not like Joan, she doesn't suggest red so much, but more the burgundy colors. Um, the, the reds that are not those tom tomato reds, but something that's a little bit bluer. And um, because I think she says that just goes better with the older face as it changes color. But just as I said, know the undertone of your lips and know that, um, you know, that's going to change the color of the lipstick. I always go pink on everything because it's just, I just blue. I can put like an orange colored lipstick and it doesn't stay orange. So another thing is, um, no, about the eyes. She talks about, uh, again, puffy eyes and, uh, and shadows are a really big problem with her. And she actually has, because um, it's a problem for most of our, us women over 60, in fact, women of most ages. Um, and she has a technique for putting on concealer, which um, is really like the Ariane special. And she discovered it when she was working with Jane Seymour. And um, apparently she was looking down at her script and she saw that the shadow of the of the bag of or the dark circle was not up here but it's down here you can even see it on my uh, face and i don't put too much makeup around my eyes because i figured it's not really much point <laughs> but anyway i just got some concealer here that i uh, would use and the secret with ariane's concealer is to put it low down here see i'm putting it almost on, on my cheeks it's not up high and then you just sort of dab it in you use the ariane patch she calls it and it takes that um, dark sh circle and just gives a little bit, it glows upward like a reflection. So I'll just put this here. You can see just almost, I'm putting it almost on, I can feel it on my cheekbone. But it's just, it's not quite. The, and if you work this for a little while, you'll see that it really does glow upwards into that, into that black circle. And um, yeah, it, it just works. That's the that's that's a concealer's trick from um, Ariane. But anyway, she says yes. Metallic highlights. Um, I think she says sparkle should be used in moderation. But the idea of using a silver. I talked to her about this. Using a silver um, eyeliner eyeliner pencil at the top of your eyes is a good idea uh, but uh, uh, Ariane's advice is not to use too much sparkle on blush or foundation that's the only only difference there and actually Joan Collins said on eyes only too so it's the same another thing lashes Ariane uh, very jokingly says that's the only thing you want to be fat when you get older is your lashes and so use a volumizing um, uh, uh, mascara look for the ones that have got uh, depth not not so much um, for length or for um, definition it's more just you want the big fat lashes just to bring the, uh, the attention to your eyes Again, uh, Ariane also says to use multitasking when you buy your foundations. She always says to choose products with 30 or even po if possible 50 SPF. And so that's a very consistent message there. And uh, in terms of, ma of um, going upwards, the Ariane tap sure says that. And this is a very, you know, light tap I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not pulling my eyes at all. But it's that mo mo motion of putting your makeup on in an upward movement. And that's, you know, I think the same as Joan Collins said. So you've got the celebrity makeup artist 
and you've got the celebrity and they're both saying pretty much the same. And I think that the, um, there's lots to learn from women who have spent 30 plus years of their life applying makeup on beautiful women. And um, hopefully, hopefully you've got some thoughts and ideas from um, from those tips. And go look at the other videos, too, by Ariane that we have on, on um, YouTube and on our website. Very, very cool. Very, very talented woman. So I hope that's been useful. I, you've got some ideas, at least how to put your uh, put the ice cubes on your ice, on your um, uh, the little tabs on your fa face, and also to do fat eyelashes, bold lips, uh, 30 SPF makeup, and just have fun. So that's the question. Do you still have fun with makeup? I hope so. I love makeup myself personally. I've, I've grown to love it more over the years just because I think it just makes you feel good. It's not going to make you look 30 years younger, but um, there's things you can do just to, to feel on the outside like you do on the inside. So um, do you like still like playing with makeup? What's your favorite makeup or skincare product? Go ahead and leave that comment in the section below and we'll have a conversation. We can chat about it and um, look forward to joining the conversation. This is one of my favorite topics, so hope it's uh, one of yours too. Okay, everybody, we'll have a fabulous day. Uh, go out and do something wonderful for yourself and let us know if you still like to play with makeup. What are your favorite skincare or makeup products? Okay, take very good care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.